We get a lot of questions on how to pack things efficiently. I'm gonna go over a few ways that you can pack your boxes efficiently and make everything nice and easy. So let's start out with the wardrobe first. So in order to use the full potential of the wardrobe, we wanna put the loose items in a closet towards the bottom and we wanna hang the clothing over it. So when we do this, we're using the whole box and we're not wasting any space, which saves you money with less boxes and saves room in a truck to where we can fit more items into the truck efficiently. So another great way to utilize your wardrobe boxes is to get all your bedding and pillows in it. It's super efficient and easy. So oftentimes customers will bag things up, like random stuff like all the bedding, and take it in multiple trips. Now if you simplify it with the wardrobe, it makes it a lot easier to get it all in one nice little box and take it away with one trip of a dolly. A lot of customers tend to pack boxes and uh, you know make the box, pack the box, tape it shut, go put it to the side and, and start on another box. There's a more efficient way of packing your boxes by pre-making a group of boxes like 10 to 15, putting it to the side out of your way and creating a station like we have here. So we wanna bring our box over and as he's bringing stuff over to me, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna grab about three or four sheets of paper I want to throw them at the bottom of the box before anything even goes in there so that I have a little um, shock absorber, okay? Then I set the, the glass in the center, fold, 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 wrap, straight into the box, same thing. We're creating an assembly line here that is efficient and makes things a lot quicker and easier for you when packing in the kitchen or anywhere. So once you've packed your box completely to the top with all your contents, the reason behind packing it full is so that you don't compromise the box and it doesn't crush or tip over from not being completely full. You want to tape it and you want to put your knee into the box and pull it with your hand to close the gap of the box so it doesn't compromise the box as well. Now you've completed your box. It's great to label all of your boxes immediately because if you don't, it could lead to some headaches down the road when you get your, to your destination and you don't know where the boxes go. So this was the kitchen. So we're gonna go kitchen, dishes. So if you do choose to do the packing yourself, make sure you do the two things that we went over and that's packing your wardrobe boxes correctly and creating your moving stations to pack efficiently. Now, if you do these two things, they're gonna make your packing job a lot easier and they're gonna make us moving your stuff a lot more efficient.